I say this a lot, but I, really quick, I want you to get out of full screen, scroll down to the description, and click the Discord link to come join the Discord. Also, click subscribe while you're there. Uh, recently, we've been doing uh, these events where we uh, use a new multiplayer mod, uh, and we play in lobbies like this, where you can see uh, I PB'd here and got 7th Global while in a room with uh, people in the Discord. There's like 70 people here. Everyone's super sweet and kind and it's fantastic and you should be here. Okay, here we are, second tutorial of the day to make up for the days that I've missed recently. Uh, we're on Boom and this one's actually kind of an easy one to get back into the swing of things. Sorry for sounding so dead in warehouse earlier today, I had just woken up and I couldn't speak much. I uh, say so yeah, to start off, you pick up this fireball and you just hold left click and you shoot and swap while still holding left click. And this will give you a phantom that you want to get it grounded off of the shot and then slash while you're in the air. The reason being is you want to land kind of far back here so you, when, when you get to this point of the level you're low enough uh um when you slice the barrel if you go too far forward you'll be really high so when you slice this barrel will be uh you won't be able to pick up the elevate um because it won't be on the ground like that so you want to land kind of early so that when you slice the barrel you pick it up uh, pick up the card uh so that's why you jump right off here you shoot at the beginning uh and then for this next section, it's really important to be on the right of this barrel when it goes off. If you're here, you're, you're kind of like fighting against the direction that the barrel like explodes you. So if you slice it like early, you won't make it as close to the, um, the next section as you know you'd like to. So you wait a little bit and you slash when you're kind of way uh, further on the right so that it sends you further. So you want to slash the bullet of the frog. Uh, and once you slash the bullet of the frog, you just keep holding left click and uh, slash the barrel underneath you. And once you pick up the elevate, you shoot the barrel, swap to the fireball to shoot the barrel up top. And then you shoot the barrel down here with your elevate. So there's uh, three shots. Uh, they're a little bit tricky. I know that this, um, I know that this shot on this barrel is really unforgiving, especially if you do it with an elevate. It can be really hard to hit. Uh, but if you use a fireball, it makes it way more lenient. Anyway, from this point, you want to fireball horizontally and then elevate into picking up that stomp card and using the stomp as fast as you can. And then once you get to here, this ringer will shoot. You kind of just want to shoot three shots up to the right. You should hit bullets with all three. It's not that bad. Something I got wrong and want to mention is for this section, you want to shoot three and then slash to uh, kill the ringer. In the video, I was a little bit rusty and kind of forgot how to play the level. Uh, so I mistakenly said... Uh, one of the three shots want to be at the ringer, but no, you want to farm four boosts by just shooting one, two, three, four, and then you get two here and then continue with uh, what I'm about to say. And then from here, some of the ringer shots will be in front of this waterfall and then this guy will shoot. You want to shoot the bullets over here first because they're about to hit the waterfall and disappear. So you shoot the bullets down here from the ringer and then the bullet from here. Then you jump and just uh, get an above water boost uh, by staying kind of close to the water. You shoot this barrel, and then you shoot this chest, fireball, and then godspeed to the end. So a full run should look something like this. Where you slash slash, hit all the shots, go up, stomp down, one, two, three, one, two, hit the barrel, fireball, godspeed. And there you go, that's it by point one. So the first one comes here. Once you go here, you can walk along the edge to get more speed. It's a little bit risky, but if you walk along the edge, if I get my speedometer up, you'll see on this water, I walk 33.75. Whereas if I walk along the edge, that can go up to uh, in the 40s. And the other option is actually just do the world record ending, which isn't that bad. Uh, everything's the same until this point, where you walk along the edge and you shoot this barrel while you're in range of it. And that'll give you extended pickup range to pick up this fireball. Then you godspeed across and then fireball towards the ending. So it should look something like this, where you shoot the chest, walk along the edge, shoot the barrel, godspeed, fireball over, and you'll see that sub 15. Uh, getting close to Amethyst. Uh, sorry, not Amethyst, Sapphire. Uh, this is actually the strategy used, uh, uh, I used for my time, which at the time was top 10. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's the strategy used on the record. So yeah, to be honest, this one's a pretty easy one. The big thing is just making sure you're on the right of this barrel when it goes off. Uh, making sure that when you do this fireball, it's horizontally. And then, um, and then yeah, just make sure you're getting above water boosts and uh, bullet boosts where you can. 
and you should be able to get it pretty easily. Like that run, there was nothing too extravagant about it, and it's still Amethyst. So yeah, I feel like a lot of you should be able to get this pretty quick. Uh, I'll see you in 12 hours for another one, and then 12 hours after that for another one, and then 12 hours after that for another, and then we're back on the regular schedule. Um, so yeah, thank you for all the support this month. I'll join the Discord, and bye-bye.